As mankind makes nearer to the pinnacle, technical leaps forward and humanoid robots speed up. We're a long way from Netflix's modified carbon-style future yet that doesn't mean we're not accomplishing remarkable things in technology, artificial intelligence, and mechanical plan. Hi, I'm Madil and welcome to your channel Future Tech. Today we will be speaking about the most realistic female robots. Please watch the video to find out all the details. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the bell notification. These human robots are typically among the most brilliant and attractive women on the globe. Because they are so frank and true, they have an unmatched charm. Here is how they change the environment and set precedence. Here are the five most accurate robot women. Nadine. Position 5. Nadine is a socially intelligent robot that responds to greetings, makes eye contact, and remembers all of the conversations it has had with humans. Depending on the interaction with the user, it can answer questions in multiple languages autonomously and imitate emotions through movements and facial expressions. Professor Nadia Magnanet Thalman was the inspiration behind the creation of this robot. Automated Personality Nadine can change its manner in response to what is said to it. With 27 degrees of freedom for facial expressions and upper body movements, Nadine can help people with special needs by reading stories, displaying graphics, starting Skype sessions, sending emails, and interacting with other family members. It can also recall facts and events related to each person it has previously interacted with. Nadine's perception layer faces a problem because her abilities depend on her awareness of the surroundings, users, and individuals in front of her. Using 3D depth cameras, a webcam, and a microphone, Nadine gathers visual and auditory inputs from her environment and users. Nadine's processing layer gives each perception layer stimulus and activation and a threshold. As each sub-module interprets each stimulus differently, the activation levels change. When the thresholds are reached, the winning actions are sent to the interaction layer, which displays the different answers in Nadine. Nadine has engaged in interactions with individuals from all walks of life while giving live demonstrations on stage. Nadine made her public debut as the world's most realistic humanoid robot, and it was a standout moment of the exhibition. Human Plus the future of our species at the art science museum in singapore she has interacted with numerous employees from numerous large corporations such as deutsche bank dense aegis network or dan credit suisse customer service interactions were used to develop a conversational dialogue engine based on machine learning our platform and the aia site also established a client server architecture to facilitate quick and secure communication Nadine is currently employed as a customer service representative at AIA Singapore. She has been trained to handle common questions posed to AIA customer care representatives. She also encourages AIA clients to use the AIA Care Registration Portal. Chihira Kane Position 4 At a tech conference in Berlin, Toshiba unveiled the most recent version of its Chihira robot. The German language has been added to the machine's repertory in an effort to make it as human-like as possible. It is claimed that since its introduction, the machine's control system has been altered to improve the smoothness of its movements. To demonstrate a potential product for the travel industry, Toshiba brought the Chihira Kenai Droid to the ITB Travel Expo. The device is situated at a help desk and answers queries from visitors, mostly about the conference. Erika. Position 3. Erika is one of the humanoid robots that Japan accepts the most. This ominous humanoid is more realistic and, according to her creator, Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro, she has a soul. Erika, on the other hand, is a talkative robot companion. This debate is a part of a five-year-old research effort that aims to create a talking companion for Japan's aging population even though it might merely involve her reciting from a digital file implanted inside of her. Erika is changing Japanese robot culture as one of the most attractive and intelligent androids. Osaka University, 
the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International collaborated on this advanced humanoid ATR. Those who live alone may desire someone to communicate with through conversation. A group led by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro of the Intelligent Robots Laboratory at Osaka University developed Erika. Professor Ishiguro used example photos to create Erika's face features. Of 30 stunning women who respond to questions with surprisingly human-like facial expressions, Erika's speech has improved, and she is better able to understand and reply to inquiries. Gijia. Position 2. Gijia with its graceful form, might be the workforce of the future. The robot was created by academics at Hefei University in China. According to accounts, she was modeled after five attractive female university students. She can blink, nod, and respond to questions, albeit her artificial intelligence level lags occasionally. Identical to the majority of board receptionists, in that regard. Gijia is a robot that can have a basic conversation and mimic particular facial expressions when given instructions. Her creator thinks that the realistic robot signals the start of China's transition to cyborg labor. Gijia, a group of engineers from China's University of Science and Technology have developed the country's first robot that resembles a human. Within a decade, according to Chin, the team leader of Gijia, artificial intelligence, AI, Robots like Gijia would start carrying out a variety of menial tasks in Chinese restaurants, nursing homes, hospitals, and residences. Chin predicts that there will be numerous uses for robots in China in the next 5 to 10 years. Gijia appears to be a person with flowing black hair and wearing traditional Chinese clothing. Her charm, however, has its limits, and she can occasionally become perplexed by simple questions. Chin stated that his team had made encouraging progress in improving Jiajia's artificial intelligence over the previous two years. She is able to hold basic conversations, respond to queries about the weather, and determine the gender of her interrogators. Sophia Position 1 A female social robot named Sophia was developed by the Hong Kong-based company Hansen Robotics. She is Hansen's most sophisticated robot to date. She has performed in concerts, given several interviews, and been featured in publications, making her a favorite of the media. Audrey Hepburn and Dr. Hansen's wife served as inspirations for Sophia's demeanor and beauty. She is the first humanoid to be awarded full citizenship with more rights than any other lady in Saudi Arabia. She has a face composed of rubber, a patented nanotechnology skin that can mimic real human anatomy and reproduce genuine facial characteristics and gestures. She is able to realistically move her mouth, eyes, and head while grinning. Mind Cloud, a deep neural network cloud-based artificial intelligence and data analytics application, powers her thought. AI and cognitive design in Sophia's neural network allow the robot to maintain eye contact. Contact identify people, evaluate speech, comprehend it and hold conversations that are remarkably lifelike. As Sophia gains intelligence through her learning algorithm, her capacity to mimic human emotions will help her integrate into the human condition. She is believed to be able to express 62 different human emotions. Hansen wants to make sure that intelligent robots can interact deeply with humans while providing assistance, serving, and grabbing attention. Instead of posing a threat to humanity, Robots with emotional and logical intelligence will help people solve pressing problems. Sophia has been interacted with by interviewers in the same way that a human would. Some of her answers have been irrational, but others have won over interviewees like Charlie Rose of 60 Minutes. Despite the fact that the responses weren't wholly unsatisfactory, Business Insider's top UK editor Jim Edwards predicted that Sophia was a step toward communicative AI. At the 2018 Consumer Electronics Show, speaking with Sophia was described as a somewhat unpleasant encounter by a BBC News reporter. On October 11, 2017, Sophia was introduced to the United Nations, followed by a brief conversation with Amina J. Muhammad, the Deputy Secretary General. On October 25, at the Future Investment Summit in Riyadh, 
the robot received Saudi Arabian citizenship, becoming the first robot to ever have nationality in what was seen as a publicity stunt. The question of whether this could vote, get married, in a December 2017 interview, Sophia's creator David Hansen said that the character would utilize its new citizenship to advocate for women's rights. As long as the two can be separated, many people start to feel concerned when a robot looks more like a person. AI scientists and business people anticipate that intelligent robots with human-like features will surpass human intellect, free the human race from labor, start addressing concerns like hunger and poverty, and perhaps even help with the treatment of diseases. Robots with artificial intelligence will aid in the emergence of a new futuristic period unheard of in human history.